Welcome to the VMware Integrated OpenStack product demonstration. In this video, we will have a look at the routine operations that are carried out by OpenStack administrators. OpenStack administrators perform hardware or software maintenance on the hypervisor hosts from time to time. With VMware vSphere, it is relatively simple to prepare for server maintenance by using the maintenance mode functionality available on the platform. Maintenance mode uses vSphere features like the Distributed Resource Scheduler, or DRS, and vMotion for automatically vacating OpenStack instances from the selected host to the remaining servers in a compute cluster. We start at the vSphere web client. Click on Hosts and Clusters. Under the Compute Cluster view, we can see the OpenStack instances running on the server. We expand Compute Cluster on the left navigation pane and select one of the hosts to put into maintenance mode. Here, we choose Server 97. Click on OK to confirm the migration of powered off and suspended virtual machines, in addition to active ones, and we confirm migration to another host in the cluster. Refresh the view. Note that Server 97 has entered maintenance mode, and all instances are running on the second server in our compute cluster, which is Server 98. Right-click on the server and select Maintenance Mode, and then Exit Maintenance Mode to take the server out of maintenance mode once the hardware or software updates are complete. Let us now see how to add compute capacity to our OpenStack cloud. We click on the VMware Integrated OpenStack plugin on the home page. Select the Manage tab, and then the Nova Compute section to see a VM called VIO Compute Driver Zero which controls our current compute cluster. We click the green plus sign to deploy another Compute Driver VM to control a second cluster. We select Compute Cluster 2 and click Next to confirm that an additional Compute Driver VM, VIO Compute Driver 1, will be deployed. Review the cluster that will be added to Nova and click on Next. In the next screen, we select data stores to assign storage for the new compute cluster to use. We see a list of data stores that are visible to the new cluster, but not currently being used for OpenStack. We select a data store and click Next. On the final screen, we confirm the details and click Finish. There is a warning that Nova services will need to be restarted as part of this action, and this may cause a small service interruption. Click OK. The Compute Driver VM is deployed. It is configured to communicate with and to manage the new compute cluster. We let the task proceed and refresh the page. When the process is complete, the new compute driver VM has an IP address, an assigned host, and a status of service ready. Our next administration task is to assign an additional data store for compute instances on the new cluster. We go to the Nova Storage section and click on the green plus sign. We select the compute cluster we are working with via its Compute Driver VM. Here, we choose VIO Compute Driver 1 and click Next. We then select our additional data store. In this case, we choose Compute Data Store 07 and click Next. Review the selected data stores and confirm acknowledgement that there will be a small interruption to compute services as the new data store is added. Our final administrative task is to assign an additional data store for Glance to store the images. Click on the Glance Storage section. Click on the green plus sign and select the additional data store for Glance. We choose Image Data Store 05 and click Next. Then, confirm the details for the storage update and acknowledge that Glance services will have a small interruption during the configuration. The new Glance data store is ready for use. This concludes the VMware Integrated OpenStack product demonstration. Thank you.